death has never been closer. Hello, folks! Welcome back to Orchard Reviews. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the movie Final Destination 5. Final Destination 5, indeed. Uh, so, Final Destination 5 is actually the final film of the Final Destination franchise. So, we're getting there. I I did review all of them, and uh, I'm kind of happy about it. Uh, because that's one of the other few franchises on this channel that I actually uh, managed to go through, uh, like, entirely. So I'm finished with that franchise after this film. It's been a fun ride and I really enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching my videos and for comment and for commenting on uh, on uh, your favorite movies and so on and so forth from the franchise. Thank you so much. And uh, without further ado, we're gonna get to the final uh, destination uh, movie, Final Destination Five. So Final Destination Five. It's a supernatural horror film uh, that was released in 3D. Yes, it was released in 3D indeed. And uh, it was it was directed by Stephen Quayle and uh, written by Eric uh, Heisier. Heisier. Uh, I apologize if I'm pronouncing this wrong. Uh, if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, uh, that's not my intention. But I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce names, to be honest with you. And uh, so, yeah, my bad if I'm if I'm um, messing up any other names. Again, not my intention or anything. So, it's all good in here. So, basically, the movie uh, stars uh, a number of uh, actors. I don't know if I should go through all of them. Um, maybe I should. Um First of all, the movie was uh, released in uh, 2011. And basically, yeah, it stores the following actors. Nicholas D'Agosto as Sam Lawton. Emma Bell as Molly Harper. Miles Fisher as Peter Friedkin or Friedkin. Um, Jack, uh, Ellen Rowe as Can Candace Hooper. Jacqueline... Um, McKinney's Wood as Olivia Castle, P.J. Byrne, P.J. Byrne as Isaac Palmer, Ar Arlene or Arlen as, as Corpita as Nathan Sears, David uh, Kochner as Dennis Lap Lapman, Courtney B. Vance as Agent Jim Block. Tony, uh, Tony, uh, or, uh, Tony Todd, sorry, as William Bloodworth, uh, Brent State or Brent State as Roy Carson, Roman Podora, Podora, or Podora as John, Jasmine Drang as Cho, Barkley Hope as Dr. Uh, Leonetti, Chastity Belis, uh, Chasty, Chasty Bully Steros as spa receptionist, and Mike uh, Dopid or Dopod as uh, Jeff. Uh, I'm sorry, I know that most of the names here are not really, I mean, not all the actors uh, are, are I just quoted right now or you know, or that relevant to the movie, but uh, I read from the cast uh, section on Wikipedia. Because I didn't want to miss any of them. But yeah, so the main actors are actually the ones you get to see on the front uh, on the movie poster. And uh, and uh, I'm going to try to name them and so on and so forth. Uh, and uh, hopefully without messing up too much. Because you sometimes I'd mess up names and I'm going to try not to. So basically, we have uh, Nicholas D'Agosto as our main character. His name is Sam Lawton. And basically, yeah, Nicholas D'Agosto, by the way, was in Supernatural, as uh, Grayson uh, mentioned in, in his review. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that's that's pretty much it. He was actually in the episode uh, ten of season one, Asylum, and it's a pretty good show. I recommend you to watch it. Uh, I recommend it. And uh, but we also have Emma Bell, who's his girl, uh, who's his girlfriend in the movie. 
Uh, she plays Molly Harper. And she was in Supernatural, too. She was in uh, Supernatural Season 5, ep Episode 3. I'm pretty much... Uh, I'm pretty pretty sure that's that's uh, th th that's the episode she was in season five episode episode three. So yeah, we have two actors from Supernatural. That's kind of funny. Uh, but we also have Jacqueline McKinney's uh, uh, as Olivia Castle and uh, Miles Fisher as Peter Freitkin. Those are main characters. And, uh, yes, uh, Jacqueline McKinney's, by the way, I kind of, um, I kind of, uh, forgot uh, the last part of her name, Jacqueline, uh, let me find it, I'm so sorry about that, Jacqueline McKinney's Wood is Olivia Castle, so basically our, our three main characters, our three, our three main characters are Sam Lawton, uh, Molly Harper, Olivia Castle and uh Isaac Palmer uh who's played by um hold on hang on a sec I'm sorry about that uh, I'm gonna try to uh Mouse Fisher who plays P Peter Freitkin I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I I mentioned that already I'm so sorry about that I'm already starting to uh mess up a little uh PGA Byrne uh Isaac Palmer, uh, no, he wasn't really that, uh, that, uh, relevant to the movie, so basically we have Molly, Sam, Olivia, Peter, and finally Nathan, uh, who's played by Erlen, uh, Escorpita. Those are main characters, wow, I'm, I'm already seven minutes in, and I'm already messing up the names already. What did I tell you? Sorry about that. I'm going to try to keep it consistent from now on uh, without spo spoiling too much or anything because those are not my intentions. I don't like spoiling movies. You must know by now. And uh, so I'm going to try to keep it as, um, as, sim as simple as I can. So I'm going to simplify the plot. I'm going to simplify pretty much. I'm going to simplify pretty much everything. So I'm just giving you some kind of a... Um, an overview of what I'm gonna do, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So basically, we have Sam Lawton, uh, who's gonna go to a company retreat with his colleagues, according to Wikipedia. I'm quoting from Wikipedia a little bit, just uh, to so that the main ideas are there in the review. And basically, they're gonna ride a bus, uh, and they're gonna cross the North Bay Bridge. And uh, basically, he's gonna go with all of his friends. Uh, Molly Harper was actually breaking up with him at the beginning of the movie um, uh, because he wants to go to uh, Paris, I think, uh, to pursue his career. But she doesn't really, uh, she doesn't want to be an obstacle to his career. She doesn't want to keep him uh, in uh, uh, grounded like with her. So she'd rather break up with him and let him, you know, kind of... Uh, pursue his dreams than, uh, than, uh, than, other, than doing otherwise, than keeping him there, right? Uh, keeping him in, uh, in, uh, in that, in that, uh, town they're living in. So basically, uh, yes, she's his ex-girlfriend, uh, but basically they're gonna ride a bus, and as they are, and as they are crossing the bridge, I'm pretty sure that it, it's, uh, there was some work done on that bridge, so you have some, uh, it was kind of like uh, a bridge that was uh, uh, there was some kind of a construction site, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, forgive me if I'm mistaken. Uh, I hope I'm not. But basically, yes, yeah, some construction is taking place on the bridge. And uh, what happens is that there's that wind that kind of... Uh, uh, messes up the whole thing and basically the bridge is collapsing and as the bridge collapses everybody starts dying and uh yeah pretty much everybody dies and uh this is how um sam um sam lawton our main character wakes up and he's like he has to get out of there as soon as he can he has to warn other people he manages to warn a few people, but some others stay in that, uh, on that bus, and, uh, 
in that bus and well what happens afterwards is kind of gruesome as you're probably as you're probably guessing and uh this is how it happens um basically a lot of people die but some others are gonna survive but death uh cannot be cheated so death is gonna try to get back at them and kill them in the order they were supposed to die if i'm not mistaken uh, so we have some pretty gruesome deaths, to be honest with you. This movie was so gory and so graphic. Uh, probably one of the most graphic movies, uh, the most graphic movie in, in the franchise. That was wow. I mean, except for the faint of heart, if you don't like the sight of blood and you don't like it when it gets too graphic, don't watch this movie. But uh, if, you, if, you, if you manage to survive through the other Final Destination movies and you're a fan, you should watch it. But uh, just in case you don't like these kinds of movies, I know it's kind of weird because this is the fifth, the fifth film, and I'm telling you this, but yeah, I'd rather uh, throw in a, a word of caution, you know, just in case. Uh, I don't want anybody to be mad and, uh, you know, um, accuse me of not like letting you know about the main uh the main thing about this film about how graphic it was you know not like holding back on you you know i don't want to do this so i'm letting you know about that folks so yeah uh after that a lot of people are gonna die um there's a funny thing uh there's a funny scene sorry at uh at um um in um uh, Inside the spa, if I'm not mistaken, a Chinese spa, Chinese spa. <laughs> that was a pretty funny scene. Yeah, there's uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, there are a lot of cool guys in there in this film. I say, I say the actors are pretty cool. And uh, guess what? William Bloodworth is back as uh, Death. I mean, not really Death. We don't really know who he is. Maybe an agent of Death. Maybe Death himself death itself we don't know really but he's back in this film and it was so cool because he wasn't on in the third and fourth films it's pretty funny because a lot of people consider the third and fourth film and fourth films to be very bad so maybe this one is better because it also has uh william bloodworth coming back as death so yeah that, that was a good thing um a lot of cool scenes in this film there's a scene at the um, uh, hold on a second. I don't want to make any... I don't want to mess up every, anything. But basically, yes. Um, where was this? Um, apologize. There was a scene at... Uh, you know, uh, I don't know how it's called. Uh, perhaps I could find it here. Um, but basically, the, the, the place where you actually go to... Uh, Kind of like a doctor's office, but uh, for one's eyes. I don't know how to... Uh, what is it called? Um, let me... Maybe I, I could find it here. Um, yeah, basically, uh, the place where you actually... You have that kind of laser, that uh, a laser kind of... Uh, ex not, ex not like an experiment, but... Pretty much like a, you know, people, some people who, who, who are sight shorted, uh, would actually go there to, it's basically, it's, it's, it's a way to, uh, to, uh, go through some kind of, uh, a surgical operation or something in which you wouldn't need glasses anymore. So it's basically like a laser going through your eyes. I don't want to spoil anything, but wow, that was, that, that was, uh, really graphic. Uh, but yeah, that was one of the scenes in the film I really enjoyed. Uh, there's a scene at the gym I already mentioned, really, really, really graphic. Uh, yeah, it's an eye surgery clinic, an eye surgery clinic. I was looking for the word, there it is, an eye surgery clinic. How could I forget that? Um... Yeah, nice surgery clinic. Wow, the scene in there was so good. I really liked it. And uh, yeah, that the was that was such a great film. A lot of cool scenes. There's a scene at the restaurant. Uh, at a restaurant that takes place. That's pretty graphic as well. Um, I mean, not really, really like really graphic actually, but it's it's a funny scene. Uh, it's not a funny like haha. Not like 
keep me laughing, but uh, it's a it's a fun scene, really. It's a pretty scary movie. It's pretty intense, and uh, yeah, it's an intense film. I would say it's really intense and it's really creepy and scary. Even the movie poster, look at it with the the clouds that look like a, a skull, and our character standing on on the brink on the on the brink of uh, this bridge that is collapsing all around them. Uh, wow, that was that was so good, uh, man. That was so awesome. And uh, there's a character that's uh, who's gonna go a little mad. Uh, I don't want to spoil it too much, but. Uh, yeah, obviously, that wouldn't make anybody go crazy seeing all of your friends die in front of your eyes. But uh, there's an interesting concept of... Uh, there's a concept that is introduced there. It's basically about death. I don't want to spoil it, but... Uh, I think it's some kind of a switch. Um, uh, basically... Um, Taking one's lifespan through doing something, uh, through basically I take your life so that I can get it. Uh, that's, that was one of the concepts that was introduced in this film, that was introduced in this film. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, there was a good scene, uh, at, uh, the ending of the movie was pretty great. And, uh, it ties up to the first film. Uh, yes, this movie, that does, uh, tie up to the first movie. Uh, it does, it does tie up to the first movie. Sorry about that. I keep repeating myself. I do that sometimes. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. It's t towards the end of the movie. You'll see, you'll see. That was pretty awesome. So I guess I said it all about, uh, Final Destination 5. I can't recall if anything that important that I forgot. Uh, but yeah, that's, um... That's uh that's uh pretty much uh it. Um so Final Destination five, what are my thoughts on it? Uh perhaps we could start with character wise. It was pretty great. I liked all the characters. I loved Sam, Molly, Olivia, Peter, Nathan was pretty cool. Um by the way, Nathan, the actor who plays Nathan, um Arlene Escarpita. Uh, he was in other things, too. Uh, he was in an episode of, I don't know if you watch, uh, drama series, but he was in an episode of Cold Case, season three, episode four, Colors. That was pretty great. Uh, but yeah, that's just a side note here. I like to, you know, promote the actors I like, uh, so that you, you could check their other works. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty great. Uh, yeah, all the characters were good, um... The boss, uh, who's named, uh, Dennis, uh, Dennis what? Hold on a second. Uh, let me find that. Uh, Dennis, uh, Dennis Lapman, played by David Coach, David, David Kochner. Yeah, it was kind of a jerk. <laughs> it was funny. Uh, but yeah, P.J. Byrne, P.J. Byrne, who played, um, Isaac Palmer. It was pretty funny. Um, yeah, that's, uh, the, some of the actors were just, some of the characters, sorry, were just funny, but, yeah, I'd say that the characters were good, especially my favorite character is definitely, uh, Sam, Sam, Sam Lawton, and, uh, I liked Olivia Castle, but Emma Bell was pretty great in this film, as, uh, Molly Harper, Molly, I liked her, uh, Peter, I liked him, uh, yeah, all the, uh, all the, the characters were good, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's interesting, I'd say that's pretty much, uh, it really about the characters, they're all pretty great, um, what else could I say about this movie, um, yeah, by the way, Emma Bell, uh, she was in another movie, uh, that's called Frozen, uh, Frozen, like, uh, the, D the Disney film, but not like, uh, it's a different Frozen movie, that was pretty great, I definitely recommend it, uh, and she was in the, she was in that movie, and, uh, she, she's a good actress, she was in The Walking Dead, uh, in, uh, the first season, uh, I believe, uh, yeah, she was in in, a, in some episodes of The Walking Dead, and I liked her, her being there, but she's not in every episode, so so that kind of sucked. 
in my opinion, because I like the actress, I like her work uh, in movies and TV shows, TV series. Yeah, that's, uh, I think that's pretty much it, really. William Bloodworth comes back, I mentioned that. Um, yeah, so there are a few funny scenes in there, like at the spa and so on, the spa, but, uh, yeah, I'd say that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I say I mentioned everything there was to mention about Final Destination 5. If I forgot anything, please remind me on the comment section down below. Uh, I'm try. I, I think that's pretty much it. So really, really, really great movie. I really enjoyed it. Uh, definitely a step up from Final Destination 4. Even though Final Destination 4, I don't consider it a bad movie, you know? A lot of people are like this movie is bad and so on. And I respect that. I respect that. If you didn't like Final Destination 4, it's all good for me. Uh, it's your choice. You're entitled to your opinion. But personally, I liked it. And uh, this Final Destination 5 movie, though, was a step up from it because it had more... The characters... First of all, the, the characters were more like... Uh, uh, more, uh, relatable, and th there was more, I liked the characters much more in this film than I did in Final Destination 4, and I believe many people would agree with me, uh, but yeah, yeah, the, the, the actors, um, in this film were pretty good, uh, also, Alan Rowe as Candace was good, um, Dennis Lapman, I mentioned him. P.J. Byrne as Isaac Palmer was pretty funny. And, uh, there was this, uh, this guy who was in the restaurant, uh, Mike Do Dopod. He's the only actor, he's the only, not actor, but character that kind of got on my nerves. <laughs> he kind of grated on my nerves. <laughs> Pun intended, because he's a cook. Uh grating on my nerves but yeah uh i'm uh i think i'm i'm gonna stop here because i mentioned everything i wanted to mention and yeah i'm uh i'm kind of uh yeah I'm, i don't want to mess up anything but yeah final destination 5 what a great movie final destination 5 if i were to read this movie i think i'd give it not, uh hang on a sec uh, first movie, I, I get, th this way I, I can actually, uh, kind of, uh, give you the main, uh, do some kind of a ranking right here, right now, very quickly, and, uh, kind of recap, kind of like a recap of everything, of all the other Final Destination movies I reviewed so far. First one, I believe I gave it a 10. Second, uh, I gave it an 8, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, third, a 9. Fourth, um... A seven, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, or an eight. Uh, please refer to my reviews because uh, my previous reviews, because I didn't keep track. I should have about the other films, but this one, Final Destination Five, I, I think I'd give it uh, nine out of ten. Uh, hold on, uh, eight point five out of ten because the third one was better in my opinion. It's just my opinion, of course, uh, but yeah, 8.5 out of 10 for this one. Uh, really, pretty, pretty good movie. Really great movie. Really enjoyed it. And uh, 8.5 out of 10 for this movie. So thank you so much for watching uh, my reviews. I'm sorry they were kind of messy at point, at times, at points, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the ride because uh, it's been a lot of fun for me. And uh, yeah, I... I uh, I want to do more reviews in the future, uh, so I'll check out uh, what kind of movie reviews I could uh, make uh, in the future. Maybe not franchises, not necessarily, but uh, I have to finish the Jeepers Creepers franchise, right? I have to remember that this fall, hopefully. Uh, and uh, yeah, F and uh, I'm also working on uh, finally uh, on Wrong Turn, and I'll have to review this as well, Wrong Turn. Uh, the movie, uh, the wrong turn movies, and, uh, yeah, taking my time with that one, because I haven't watched all of, the, all of the, all of the movies, but, yeah, I'll definitely work on that, so thank you so much for watching, and, uh, yeah, uh, by the way, uh, check out, check out, uh, uh, a great, uh, a great reviewer, and, uh, 
who's doing some really wonderful work. Uh, his channel is Stranger Grayson. And uh, check out his channel. He also does Goosebumps books. Uh, Goosebumps book reviews. And he did review all of the Final Destination movies. I'm going to try to link up uh, his channel. Uh, I send you the link to his channel on uh, in uh, the description. And uh, with all of the Final Destination franchises, uh, with all of the Destination franchise uh, reviews of his, I'm going to try to do that. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, check him out. Yeah, he's re he's doing some really great work, and uh, it's always great to uh, work with other people when it comes to reviews. And uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, we we both review uh, horror films, scary movies. So maybe at one one point we'll do some uh, we'll do some kind of a similar review a thon kind of thing maybe uh but yeah uh but in any maybe in the future uh well i'll, I'll let you know uh but thank you so much for watching and uh yeah check out his channel and uh thank you so much for watching uh the, these final destination films and let me know about what uh let me know about your views on final destination what's your favorite movie what's your worst movie from the final destination movies and uh thank you so much for watching and uh i'll see you in the next review Goodbye, folks. Take care. This whole channel reviews for you. Signing off.